So we're looking at deer antlers. Um, this is a uh, smaller one, and then this one's larger one. And we are looking at the uh, scintillation detector uh, reading on these guy on these uh, horns, and. Uh, uh, you see the counters up there, maybe uh, 4,000 counts per minute. It's not really very much. And Edward, if you'd move the probe off into the uh, surrounding area, yeah, we'll put it way back there. You see there's really not very much of a difference between uh, what the scintillator says off on the, uh, off to the side versus what it says on top of the horns. Bring it back to the horns. So there's the scintillator back on the horns. And we see this number goes up maybe a little bit, but statistically it's a very small difference. Now we're going to put a Geiger probe, a Geiger-Muller tube that is sensitive to uh, beta particles on the counter. Okay, so now we have a beta-sensitive tube on there. And I'll switch this down to the lower range. And you see we pick up quite a significant number of counts. Now move it back to the uh, just sort of background. So background it's way down there almost at zero on that needle and then bring it in. Then we bring this uh, counter in and uh, in contact with the bone of course it's off scale there at about uh, 500 counts per minute. So what this is demonstrating is we don't have a lot of gamma activity, but we do have a lot of beta activity. And bone is mostly calcium, but it also concentrates other uh, alkaline and, and rare earths. And in this case, we believe it's concentrated a lot of the long-lived uh, fission product nuclide strontium-90, um, which emits high-energy beta particles, but no gamma rays. So that's what we're looking at. Very few gamma rays, but a lot of beta particles in these uh, deer antlers. And we are, uh, we're, we're uh, probably about a mile here from the Chernobyl nuclear power plant.